five. So we have sets on the outside. We got Ryder in red. Looks as though he's going to go on this. This is Noah Janela. And just a big kind of a shoulder on that wave, not providing that nice steep open face for the high scoring potential. He kicks out. We have a winner on the beach, Gary Walden from Eva Beach. You have won a Surf of the Bar t-shirt. Go up to the Turtle Bay tent right here on the beach and claim your prize. Oh, he's sitting right next to the tent. So uh, throwing up a shaka and getting his prize. If you want a chance to win some Surf of the Bar gear from Turtle Bay Resort, it's a free raffle. Step on up to the Turtle Bay tent. Just submit your name. It doesn't cost a dime. And while you're sitting here watching, you might as well see if you could win a free hat or a free shirt. We've also got some complimentary stickers and temporary tattoos. So if you want to get some free stuff from Turtle Bay Resort, step on up to the tent and ask them where to sign up. And we'll be calling out winners throughout the day here at Sunset Beach for the Stand Up World Tour Sunset Beach Pro. Mahalo to Turtle Bay Resort and Surf of the Bar. Surf of the Bar has got something fun going on every single night of the week. The brand new and improved just over a year old surfer the bar great venue an awesome place to hang out big screen tvs in there to watch all the surfing action during football season we had some great fun times watching the college and nfl games so making a a great venue out of that turtle base uh lobby right there right there the surfer the bar that turtle bay resort Time remaining, 21 minutes and 40 seconds. We're going to take you down to the winner of that last heat for an interview, Mr. Mo Freitas. So, Mo, great heat to you there, man. You're looking amazing. How did you feel? Um, good. I, um, I picked out a bigger board, a bigger wave, and, and I chose, I kind of sat on the outside and just kind of went for the bigger ones, and it, it worked out good. I got my first wave, I got a little head dip, I guess, and then... And then, yeah, it was good. All the boys are ripping, you know, the waves are massive. And just, just we're look, looking to make it through heat. So. Right on. And you're a local boy from just on the road, you know, do you spend some time out here at Sunset for very yeah. today? Yeah, definitely. I surf with Uncle Kala a lot, and he gives me some pointers sometimes. And it's just one of my favorite waves, yeah. so, yeah. It's good. It's been good. Right on. Good job, Mo. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, thank you, Mo Freitas. Congratulations. Good job. Up and riding in red, this is Noah Janella carving right in front of a nice closeout section. He got a nice couple of turns in there before that wave closed out. So he gets on the board with a 1.5 first wave and will be on standby for his second wave score. That was quite a meaty wave up the, up the top of the point there. Yeah, that was uh, a pretty big wave that Mo, uh, that was... Noah was carving up and down, and he'll head back out into the lineup. I believe we saw Green riding, but that was the surfer from the last heat, Jamie Sterling, making his way in. Great showing for Jamie, making it into the main round, all the way from the trials. And we also want to invite you to visit TurtleBaySup.com. We are giving away two free tickets from wherever you live, you get airfare, you get free hotel stay, you get an adventure pass, you get a free guided North Shore tour from myself, Rocky Cannon, and the Hans Hiedemann Surf School. And you also get a free welcome meal along with Turtle Bay swag upon arrival. All you got to do is go to TurtleBaySup, TurtleBaySup.com and enter on that website and you could be a lucky winner for a trip for two to visit Hawaii's North Shore for free. A nice look at our spectators starting to fill in here at Sunset Beach. This is one of the most premier venues for professional surfing in the world. And the Stand Up World Tour has made this their first stop the last four years. This is the fourth year in a row running here at Sunset Beach. And it's been a great starting point for the 2013 season and the past seasons. I mean, we've always had really good surf. We've always seen really great surfing. 
and it's been a good boost into each year of the Stand Up World Tour. Yeah, I think it's one of those events that comes along and everybody looks forward to it. You know, the, the year's starting and it starts off with a bang always with a high surf <laughs> advisory and uh, a good solid beating. So, I mean, that's, that's what everyone wants to come back for, everyone wants to tune in for. So it's great to be back here at Sunset Beach always. Yep, and there's Jamie Sterling on your screen there coming up from the shore break. And Jamie, like we said, putting on a great showing here in this Stand Up World Tour event number one, making the main round all the way from the trials. Sterls, good job, my brother. And here we go. This is Blue, Connor Baxter. As we said, he is a, a very skilled stand up paddleboard racer. He's now racing down the line ahead of this section, trying to gain more speed. Big wall ahead of him, snaps under the lip. And then is met with a fierce oncoming closeout section of which he squats and tries to hold on. But he is pushed off his board. Last score for Noah Janella in red, a 6-2-5. So Noah out in the lead in red, standing by for last score of blue, Connor Baxter. So I'd like to take the opportunity to say a big thank you to the Hui SUP. They've been proud supporters of the Sunset Beach Pro since 2010. When uh, Kala Alexander presented Kamaki Worthington, actually, somebody who has truly missed here this year, but he presented him with a uh, Biggest Move Award. But actually, we got a replay here, Rocky. This yeah, is this Connor is Baxter. Connor Baxter. And uh, this is the end part of the wave where he was really racing down the line. You see him got up and near that section just for a little check turn. As uh, you can see, the wave very fast. So... All the turns on that wave were kind of pointed towards the shoulder. Wasn't able to get really anything cranking off the bottom because of the speed of the wave. But nonetheless, he gets a score on the board, and uh, we'll see how that fills in when the judges throw it down on the computer. We'll update you accordingly. I'd just like to do a shout out for Connor out there. I know we got uh, his parents and family watching right now. Auntie Karen, Uncle Keith, we all love you guys. Thank you for everything. Beautiful sister Ashley as well, probably watching. Um, I know they've all mentioned that Connor's a big charger, been out at Jaws a lot lately, but he really has been going all out on those lefts. Caught some of the biggest lefts I've seen out there at Piahi in the last, last few months for sure. So uh, big props to Connor out there, and great, great guy, humble as he gets, and uh, nothing but aloha for everyone. That was Matty Schweitzer commenting on good friend Connor Baxter, and I have to agree with Matty. Connor is uh, one of the greatest kids on our tour and series, and we are proud to have him a part of it all. So Karen and Keith, you should be very proud. We're proud to have him with us. Yeah, and he had a big support cast uh, in Chicago for that race in Lake Michigan. And we got to meet the family and uh, see them support Connor on a uh, very nice Ohana level there. And we see red Noah Janela getting yet another wave, showing his knowledge uh, of the North Shore and of Sunset Beach in particular, scoring high on the last wave with a 6.25. And he'll add to his total as he's only looking to better a 1.5. And I think he's done so right there. Definitely, Rocky, as you said, I think the local knowledge paying off there. He's really picking off the right waves today. I know he's a little frustrated yesterday. He uh, kicked out a one that could have had some more scoring potential, and then he didn't get another one. So he'll be happy for getting the waves he is today. All right, you see the surfer in the next seat being uh, greeted by Matty Schweitzer, one of our camera operators here, taking a, a short break to get his feet in the sand, but also wishing uh, uh, luck to Justin Holland and the double leash technique. Uh, I, I got to say, man, that's not a bad idea in these kinds of conditions why not <laughs> exactly and uh justin holland is not afraid to put himself in uh in the point of impact so you see him on a really short board there actually i just found out it was an 8-0 which Ooh. is definitely shorter than most uh short boards <laughs> that would be written out there today so yep. justin looking to do some critical turns as First, no as i'm sure he will he is uh he's definitely one of the on form surfers on tour right now and the first score comes in for connor baxter at a 5-2-5. So first score for Connor, a 5-2-5 is currently in second. This is Green Young Riggs Napoleon. And Riggs slicing and dicing up near the lip on that first turn. And yet another nice carve for Riggs with a paddle transfer. And off the bottom, off the top once again. 
And this young 15-year-old has been competing out here for the last few years in a row and had a memorable big, huge wave as a 12-year-old a few years ago. Yeah, and we have Connor Baxter. That was Connor Baxter kicking out. This is the Battle of the Goofies, Rocky. Yeah, it seems uh, three Goofy footers contending along with, you know, Jamie O'Brien's regular foot, but I don't know if you saw any of the Volcom Pipe Pro action. He's been going switch foot quite a bit, so I'm going to call him bystantual now because uh, he's been able to go Goofy foot almost as well as regular foot at some of the waves at Pipeline. And uh, so he's out there in white, yet to catch a wave. Hopefully we'll see him uh, very soon. We just have a, a suspicion that he might not be in the water now that we're looking out. Yeah, well, if he hasn't caught a wave yet, which is very un-Jamie O'Brien-like, he might not be out there. And I think I only see three surfers. So the second score for Connor Baxter comes in at a 3.25. Standing by for the first score of Riggs Napoleon. Nice shot of our spectators on the beach right there. Hey, you guys are all on camera, on TV. Wave and say hi to all of your family back home in much, much colder weather, I'm sure. That's a nice glimpse of all the sponsors there as well. Malibu, Pacifico, Turtle Bay, Starboard, of course, our official board brand for the event. And a great supporter of a lot of our athletes, including Connor Baxter in this heat. One of their uh, superstars. Yep. And Noah Janela out in front with that last score of a 5.7. So he is uh, out to a pretty convincing lead. Connor Baxter needs a 6.7 to catch him. That's possible, but we'll see if he's able to do it in the next 11 minutes and 20 seconds. Riggs Napoleon, his first score comes in at a 4.25. First of green, a 4-2-5. Riggs, you now need a 4-2-6 to go to second place. Riggs, you need a 4-2-6 to go to second place. So this uh, this heat really highlighting again the, the surge of youth into the sport. All these, all these kids are under 20 years old. It's an exciting time for the sport as we see uh, all the youth progression and, and how it's all evolving here, so... A lot more to come, I'm sure, over these next few years, but just to see the Nakamakai Youth Challenge having such a, a great impact on the sport. All the young champions coming through now have come through this system here. We've got Benoit Carpentier, Mo Freitas. As we've got a rider on the out back here, this is Riggs Napoleon, I think. So I'm joined once again by Zane Schweitzer. Zane, welcome back. Yeah, all right, mahalo, it's Tristan. And Browder Riggs here getting on a nice little wave. He's I believe he's looking for a 4.5 to move back into second place. And uh, man, that last wave he had was really good. He was pulling off some really smooth connections and combos. So glad he has one good score on the board. Riggs, you know, you know, I mean, more than anyone, he's been here charging for what, the last four years since he was 12 years old or what? I mean, there was a couple things that really stand out from 2010. Uh, you know, one was the heat with Garrett and uh, Kala Alexander, where Kala caught that huge, huge wave. We had a couple guys taking oxygen on the beach. That was definitely one major episode. Uh, but the other one was seeing Riggs at 12 years old and about two foot high bouncing down a 20-foot a face. I mean, it's just the craziest thing we'd ever seen in the sport to date, even, even today, to this day. You know, that's an incredible thing. He looked like three feet tall on like a 25-foot face wave. It was nuts. It looked like a cartoon, that's for sure. And uh, I know his proud father, Aaron, was in the channel. It's definitely like father, like son. Aaron's not not uh, not afraid to put himself in the uh, danger zone. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. The Napoleon family is uh, very well respected. I love these guys over in uh, here in Oahu. I stay at their house every year. And uh, so mahalo to the Napoleon Ohana for always Give, being so gracious and supportive. Oh, and there goes Connor Baxter taking donuts on a bomber on the outside. Once again, though, Tristan, he's familiar. C Connor's familiar to catching donuts. 
<laughs> yeah, you and Connor have been paddling a lot out at Piahi this last little while, yeah? Yeah, I tell you what, Connor's an animal. He charges and he can handle. This is Noah Janela on the outside catching another great wave under the lip there. Janela from Cavella. I tell you what, speaking of a humble athlete, Noah Boy has been one of my really good friends here on tour and he is just so much fun to hang out with in such a good spirit, so much aloha and his family and uh, it's good to see him surfing well at his home break here at Sunset. No, that's for sure. He's definitely an athlete primed for great things as he's just starting his career on tour. Finished with school now, he can finally focus on uh, traveling the world and uh, making a name for himself. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations for him just graduating. And there you go. We're showing a nice little view of all the spectators on the beach. Everyone give a big shock out to your family and friends back home watching online. If you're just tuning in, this is the Sunset Beach Pro. Thank you very much to all of our online viewers. I want to do a quick shout out to some friends back in California. Tim Kramer, Nick Flecker, and, and Mike Falbo, all you guys watching. All right. Stoked to tune in with the action, and thanks for always keeping us uh, comfortable and hosting us whenever we're in California for the Waterman League events. Yeah, we're going to be excited to come back to California this year. Unfortunately, we weren't able to come back last year, but we will be back in 2013. It's a pretty cool place to go over and visit, right? Yeah, I think there's, you know, California and Hawaii has always been, you know, a little bit of the surf of meccas of the world. And so I think it's very important that we're, uh, I'm blessed that we're back to California. You know, there's a lot of great waves for stand-up paddling out there. And uh, I think this year it's going to be big on a bunch of, uh, eye openers for a lot of the locals there to see the performance that we're going toward lately. Yeah, I think you're right, Zane. And I was on that note actually. I was just gonna let you know that you got a special invitation in the mail for from uh, from the Sheikhs over in Abu Dhabi. It's regarding the uh, All Stars Invitational that's gonna take place at the end of next month. No uh, way. It's gonna be in the wave pool. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so stoked for that. I've uh, I've been hanging out with Kieran Taylor the last two years, and he's been, he's been showing me videos of this same wave pool, and I'm so excited to get out there and get some sessions on the water with him over there, and it's going to be fun. My first time on an artificial wave, so we'll uh, we'll try to pull some tricks out of our bags over there. Well, I think it's an interesting uh, prospect because obviously surfing, there's so much of nature that plays a part. As we see here, this is Connor Baxter on a bomb on the outside. Ooh, brought a Connor looking really comfortable on his bottom turn. Working his way back up to the top. Let's see if this wave's going to reform for him. Oh, this is a great wave. Ooh, just making it around that section. He's looking to maybe squeak in another turn. Let's see if he can get one more in. Oh, that was one of the most, that was a great wave all the way from the, from the point there. That was a sick one. Yeah, brought a Connor, connecting some good combos on that one, making it around that section. A, lot, a big problem for a lot of the athletes and competitors today is, uh, you know, they under judge the, the wave and how far it's going to wrap into the channel. And a lot of guys are getting caught behind that whitewash. So Connor did a good job of keeping a high line through where he had to and making it around. If there's one person who knows how to read bump, it's Connor Baxter. And here's a little replay from Matty Schweitzer's camera angle. As you can see right here, it's just burgering out a little bit in between the outside peak and the inside reform, and now it's just starting to wall up in front of him. And here's Riggs Napoleon. It's another nice wave, actually. If he can get around this section, it could get a little bowly here. Riggs uh, looking really comfortable on his rogue paddleboard. So, Zane, as I was saying about nature, you know, the interesting thing I think about this uh, Abu Dhabi All-Stars Invitational is that, you know, every surf event you're relying on getting good waves. They're, they're just there, and it's exactly the same each time as we see Noah drop into another big set. Oh, man, I don't know. It's pro I think it's starting to be growing consistently right now. I was checking the forecast. Looks like it's going to be picking up a bit. So we might be seeing, you know, that first new pulse. I mean, these are already pretty sizable waves. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, as you can see, Noah, that was well, 
I'd say quadruple overhead for sure. Guaranteed. Noah's really been surfing well in this heat. Looks like he took some notes from his heat yesterday, and he's uh, putting it all together today. Yeah, Noah Boy has put a lot of time out in the water out here, and this is one of his home breaks, uh, having growing up right down the road at Cavella Bay. And uh, it really pays off to be friendly with Sunset Beach and the wave out there. So he's definitely showing on his performance out in the water that he knows what's, what he's doing out there. Absolutely. And Noah spends probably more time in the ocean than most people. He's one of these guys who grows up in Hawaii, just kind of does anything that goes in the ocean, in particular fishermen. He's one of the most impressive fishermen that I know. Uh, free diving all the time out in front of his house and all over diving holes all over the island. So he's definitely uh, body surfing, long boarding, short boarding, canoe paddling, canoe sailing. I tell you what, you're totally right. Noah Janela is the definition of a Hawaiian waterman. He does it for himself, not for others. He never calls himself a waterman. You know, this, the term is used uh, overused lately in this world, but... He is the definition of a humble waterman, enjoying everything ocean and the sports have to offer. So we're looking at the time now. We got, we're got we just two minutes and 20 seconds to go, so we're winding down in this heat. Let's have a look who we got coming up next. We got two Aussies coming up in the next heat. Justin Holland and Bo Nixon. We also have Garrett McNamara recently getting a lot of press for that wave in Portugal. Did you see that wave, uh, Zane? Yeah, that was insane. He, he's been going out to that wave quite a bit in the recent years. And, uh, man, he scored it that last swell. You know, the interesting thing about that wave is that I was actually talking to the guy who uh, ended up embarking on this project with Garrett. Uh, we were talking about doing a stand-up event there uh, a few years, <laughs> like a year before that uh, this all started to happen. You know, I don't think it would have been in the uh, the waves that we've seen Garrett riding, but it would have been a you know it's a beautiful part of Portugal, and Portugal, for anybody who knows it, they'll uh, I'm sure agree with me. It's one of the most beautiful countries in the world. I love it. It's a very very a place very close to my heart. Yeah, no, that's I'm a poor I'm a Portuguese myself. My family comes from there, and I'd love to make it out there one day to surf and experience the culture and. Uh, have fun in the surf. I mean, if you haven't seen Garrett McNamara's waves, his sessions out of Portugal, go YouTube, search that Garrett McNamara, Portugal, big waves, and you'll see some insane. I mean, it looks like the waves, 40-foot waves, are right on the cliff. This is Ryder Riggs Napoleon on a big set on the outside. Once again, his size uh, magnifying the size of the wave. And Connor Baxter behind him just getting hung up on the lip out there. The trades sure are starting to pick up a bit. And on these paddle boards, it is noticeable when you're trying to drop into the face. You really got to scoot forward on the board and shove that nose down the face of the wave. Yeah, there's definitely a, a technique to riding not only sunset, but sunset with wind. As we are uh, winding down in this heat with just 12 seconds to go. Counting down 10. Ooh, this wave, if he could get into it, looks like it will count. Ooh, three, just two, on the three, buzzer. Two, one. <coughs> oh, oh, shit, shit. It <coughs> will count for. Oh, God. That wave will count for Connor Baxter. Yeah, we do apologize for the uh, expletive by my young friend Jane Schweitzer here. Excuse me. It's supposed to be a two horn to, con <laughs> to finish a heat, and uh, the button popped off the horn, and we had a little bit of a stutter on the horn. Look at that skill with Connor Baxter showing the double paddle technique there. <laughs> He's, he's going to show up at the next race with two paddles. You know, that it's a funny thing, but don't you remember that guy in the summer race, the Turtle Bay race? He had the canoe paddle on the stand-up board. Yeah, that was actually really fast. I was baffled. He let me do, do a little run on it. And, man, that double paddle, it has a blade on each side. Oh, it's crazy. He, he was riding a 14-foot board, and he came up to me afterwards, and he goes, man, I shouldn't have won it so much faster with the canoe paddle. <laughs> 
All so we right. count down to the next heat. And five, four, three, two, one. So in this heat, heat number 16, we have Bo Nixon from Australia. We have Sven Peltonen from uh, New Jersey, but spends a lot of time out here. He's put on a great performance so far, making his way through the trials. He narrowly missed out on advancing, but was the highest placed third place in the trials. So due to McCoy Rothman having to pull out, slightly injured from uh, a session yesterday at Pipe. He took his place. Then we have Justin Holland from Australia. He finished sixth overall last year. Really put on a surge through the second part of the year last year and uh, definitely was one of the on-form surfers. He is also a starboard rider. And last but not least, Garrett McNamara, as we were just talking about from that wave in Portugal, Nazare. Back here in Hawaii at a, a wave he knows well. Well, here comes Connor Baxter up the beach. Give a hand for this young blood from Maui, Hawaii. Charging out there, catching a lot of good waves. And just behind him, making his way in. 15 euros old, Riggs Napoleon. Give a big hand for Brado Riggs coming in, catching some well overhead waves. It's a question of how many times overhead for young Riggs, yeah? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Definitely, I'd say at least four or five times over his head. So I'd like to take the opportunity to say a big shout out to all our Stand Up World Tour patrons. These are industry members, leading brands uh, that are kind enough to support the Stand Up World Tour and its continued development and growth. Those brands as gold patrons are Starboard, Nash, JP Australia, Fanatic, Art and Surf, Corban, Bic SUP, Rogue, Mistral, Puka Patch for all your ding repair needs, and Body Glove. So thank you to all those gold patrons for stepping up to support the tour. You'll see many of their really formidable riders here competing at the Sunset Beach Pro. I'd also like to say thank you to our silver patrons, Focus SUP. And SUP Magazine. We'll take you down to the beach for an interview with Connor Baxter, standing by from the last heat. Connor, some great waves in your heat day. Talk us through it, man. Yeah, our uh, heat was loaded with some waves. You know, it had uh, all goofy footers, which made it nice always having the lower hand I guess you'd say get going against all these guys on their forehand you know so it's nice to compete against some of my own kind and uh, yeah all friends out there which was the best part and uh, just having a good time and stoked to be here at sunset and thanks to all the sponsors and my sponsors and you and you've been having some good ways to make out at goals as well uh, back home on Maui tells uh, does that help you prepare for this? Yeah, definitely. Just recently caught one of my biggest waves of my life out there at Jaws, the left hand, which was a uh, pretty stoker for me. And uh, yeah, I've just been on Maui training out there and at our, all our outer reefs. So I've been getting ready for this event. <laughs> cool. Thanks for having me come, man. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Connor Baxter. Congratulations. Up and riding in blue, this is Justin Holland, the double leash technique, not showing any drag in his speed down the line action. Pumping, paddling, and trying to pull in and getting doused by that breaking wall of foamy face and gets just compressed right there. Justin Holland from Australia, also in this seat. Fellow Aussie, Bo Nixon in red. Sven Peltonen, all the way from New Jersey, competes a lot here and surfs a lot on the North Shore uh, in the last 15 years. And also in the water in green, big wave extraordinaire Garrett McNamara in the green from Hawaii. Check in for you, Heat. Aaron Napoleon, Guillaume Burgliadu, Ayrton Cozzolino, and Noah Yap check in. Well, outside on this wave, looks like green. 
This is Sven from New Jersey. And Sven trying to go up and over the top, and he succeeds in going over the top, but I think he was trying to crank that one back down and unable to complete that turn, but he gets on the board with a score. And we'll update you as soon as we get our scores coming through here on our live scoring system, courtesy of Ride Score Mobile. All right, and here up here, I'm seeing I'm honored to be sitting next to Rocky Cannon and myself. I'm Zane Schweitzer. Thank you guys so much for being here, tuning in to all the action at the Sunset Beach Pro. This is the second day of the Sunset Beach Pro. Yesterday we had perfect conditions, and today we're blessed with amazing conditions again today. Yeah, you know, we started the day with a little bit of morning sickness, a little bit of bump on the wave, a little more northerly winds this morning but right now looking at this set the way the spray is coming off the back of the wave it is clocking around a little more east and it's to our advantage offshore conditions provide beautiful open face waves here at sunset beach and look at this on the outside this is white sven peltonen once again and sven getting busy on a wave trying to get some speed and he's going to need a lot of speed to get around that wave and won't be able to, surrounded by white water. So the New Jersey native will straighten out and uh, try to make his way to the channel for an easy paddle back out. And we're going to throw it down to our winner of the last heat, Noah from Cavella, Janela. That was really fun. We had such an action-packed heat. It was actually... I was tired at the end of that one. It's just non-stop. Everyone's switching off, getting waves. I was seeing uh, Riggs and Connor getting a lot of waves. So, I mean, when you're out there, you don't really get to see what they're doing on, on the waves. And everyone basically had about the same size. You know, one one big set and maybe a backup. And, you know, when you're out there, you, you just, you just got to assume you're not doing well. So, uh, it's cool to come in, uh, to see that I got first. Made it, first, second. It's always uh, good. But yeah, I'm stoked. It was super fun. It was actually more, uh, yeah, it was cleaner than what I expected. There was some heats before mine that looked pretty, uh, pretty ugly out there. But yeah, it was good fun. And uh, get to surf again, so I'm stoked. Good job, Noah. Thanks, man. All right, thanks. All right, so first score coming in for Justin Holland at a 5-2-5, not too bad. And first score for Garrett McNamara in green comes in at a 2.5. Stand by for the last couple of scores of Sven Peltonen. And uh, we'll see if we got a score coming in for Bo Nixon. I think he may have uh, not caught a wave yet. So first score for Sven Peltonen comes in at a 2.1. And mahalo for joining us here live on the beach at the Sunset Beach Pro, part of the Stand Up World Tour, our first event of the 2013 Stand Up World Tour season. This is day number two of the Sunset Beach Pro, day number three of the entire event as we got started at Turtle Bay Resort with our historical Stand Up World Tour Women's Pro, the Turtle Bay Women's Pro. And Nicole Paselli taking first place there. And also our Nakamakai Youth Challenge, our junior event. That was won by Poi Nike Rioja, who was doing an excellent job out there today, surfing in these big sunset conditions, showing some extremely talented wave knowledge out there was uh, Poi Nike. And there is a shot of our beach gallery with uh, spectators and sponsor flags flying in the beautiful trade winds that we have today, you can see a little bit of a scattered clouds up above. Uh, we had bright shining sun yesterday, much of the same today as we see green Garrett McNamara up and riding. Looking for some open face. He's found it. Now can he make something out of it? Big bottom turn, stalling in the pit. I think he's looking for a barrel. Not able to find it, but good positioning there with a little cutback just to put at least one turn in on that wave but 
sometimes that can be the uh, the trick here at sunset. You're looking too much for the barrel, and you kind of miss out on some carving opportunities. Yeah, for sure, and a tricky wave it is here at sunset. On the outside in blue, Justin Holland, starboard team rider, just uh, deciding to kick out. Maybe he wants something that with a little bit more of a face. And on the outside in red, Bo Nixon from Australia. This looks like it could be a really good one for Bo. Oh, and he also fades off the back. Oh, that could have been. So Bo Nixon finishes on his first wave. Mahalo to SUP Magazine, tuning in on StandUpWorldTour.com, our official media partner. And we were looking at some incredible shots the other day in that SCP magazine of some epic paddling and stand-up paddling in Oregon and all over the world. That SCP magazine, the official stand-up magazine of Ooh. the stand-up world tour. As we see blue, Justin Holland sneaking another wave in there. That was a great way to finish that wave, a beautiful under-the-hook carve just before the wave closes out. But if you'd like to uh, find out more about stand-up paddling, definitely check out SUP Magazine because uh, they are the official stand-up magazine of the world. And uh, they can, you'll see so much cool shots. And just the popularity of the sport booming everywhere that there is a body of water you can stand up paddle as we see a replay of Justin Holland's wave, nice roundhouse cutty, and then a nice kind of fading check turn as that wave closes out. You see how low he's crouching just to uh, be able to survive the impact right there in the inside bowl at sunset. And Justin being very familiar to big waves, he is a uh, partners with Jamie Mitchell for toe surfing and they do all kinds of big wave adventures in Australia and Maui. I've seen them out in the lineup at Piahi, the notorious Maui giant wave and he sure does charge. I tell you what, on a stand-up board or a surfboard, he definitely puts himself in some gnarly situations. Well, this is an action-packed heat with some amazing athletes in it. We have 12 minutes remaining in this heat, so much more action to come. Riders are still looking to better their scores. Bo Nixon especially looking to better his score. And Sven. Justin Holland currently in the lead, I believe, with Garrett McNamara close behind him. And Bo behind Sven with Sven on the tail end of the heat. There's a shot of our Italian competitor, Ayrton Cozzolino. Patiently waiting on the beach. 11 minutes and 11 seconds. Make a wish. <laughs> on the outside, up and riding in white. This is Sven Peltonen, currently in third place. And he wants to try to catch uh, the surfer in second, Garrett McNamara, sitting on a pair of 2.5s. Last score of Justin Holland comes in at a 7.5. Nice. So, so that Justin. Was, that was a score he was looking for, for sure. Yep, that's the highest of the heat so far.
So local time here in Hawaii, 12.15. We're just uh, right around the lunchtime hour. And thank you for joining us on the beach as well as online at StandUpWorldTour.com. And if you're watching on the beach and you'd like your family and friends to enjoy what you're watching, you can log on or you can ask them and tell them to log on, text them the address or call them and tell them to log on to StandUpWorldTour.com and click on Live Feed. That's right next to the Home button. And they'll be able to watch the action and be a little bit envious of the conditions and the weather that you're enjoying, especially if you're from the Northeast. I'm sure the blizzard conditions are taking its toll on everybody there. We hope everybody's staying safe and warm, but you're definitely safe and warm here in Hawaii on the North Shore, enjoying the best stand-up paddle surfers from around the world, performing at one of the best venues ever in the world at Sunset Beach on the North Shore, the capital of surfing right here on Oahu. Yes, and if you are enjoying your scene, please tell your friends and family to go on Stand Up World Tour and watch. And who knows, they might even see you on the beach enjoying the surf. Hey, you know, Riggs Napoleon finished third in that previous heat, and I'm sure he's a little bit bummed, but, you know, he's so young. He's got so many years left in competition here. But the good thing that Riggs can do now is enjoy mom's shoyu chicken, which I saw getting cooked up <laughs> over there. Oh, brother. Oh. I almost would rather lose than eat shoyu chicken, <laughs> the way it smelled. <laughs> I tell you what, the Napoleon family sure cooks up a mean plate lunch and any kind of food, I tell you. Garrett McNamara, McNamara on a solid wave. Garrett for the nice inside section, looking for a cover-up. Oh, and on the outside, Red Bo Nixon on a solid critical oh, drop. As he disappears in the trough, all you see is the trail of water and cracking it off Whoa. the top. That's what a nice right turn. There. Yep, that's Bo Nixon from Australia. And now looking for some more scoring Ooh. potential and look at this Beautiful. wave stack up that is about as tall as our scaffolding right here boom <laughs> and he lays down like oh gosh i do not want to get bucked off my board right here bo also a really cool person and a great athlete hailing from australia uh he does a lot of training to prepare himself for this event i spoke with him in uh, the british virgin islands during the location x finals and he said that he's already been doing a lot of preparing for this event with breath training exercises and uh, working with his coach to really make his seat to improve his surfing ability. And uh, looks like it's really paid off. I mean, on that wave especially, that's pretty much uh, the best he could have done. Yeah, that was uh, fitting the criteria of size matters, that's for sure. And went up aggressively with that first turn up near the lip and then finish nicely with a complete maneuver and six minutes 30 seconds remaining bo nixon currently in fourth needs a 295 to go to second and watch this replay all you see is the trail of water and then bo reappears up near the lip with a nice carving turn and then once again disappears briefly and then draws a nice big bottom turn down the line and another carve in the open face before this one just really engulfs and surrounds him with a huge closeout section and you see here he decides to jump back onto his stomach to ride through the rough part of that wave that could go either really good rocky or really bad i've seen it go good for some and bad for a few laying down trying to prone out of that uh, big whitewater section so Justin Holland in the lead. Garrett McNamara currently in second, standing by for the last score of green. Also, Sven Peltonen in third. He needs a 2.9. Bo Nixon with that last ride, still standing by for the score. Needs a 2.95 to get into second. But we'll see if the last score of Garrett McNamara was enough. But look at this score. Last of Bo Nixon, a 9.65. 
Last score of Bo Nix in the 965. That was a monster of a wave. And uh Ooh, and definitely Sven one of the biggest ones on that one. As Sven goes down. So Bo Nixon goes to second place. Wow, and uh if he gets a little bit of a better back on, he will be easily placed in first place. Now as you see blue on the outside taking off on a great looking wave. This is Justin Holland, starboard zone. Wow, nice turn there for Justin Holland, finishing strong. So Justin Holland looking to improve on a 5.25. Four minutes and five seconds remaining. 4.05. And in white, taking off, this is Sven Peltonen. Sven out of New Jersey, spends a lot of time here in Hawaii surfing over the last 15 years. And Sven crouching low, looking for a possible tube ride. No, he goes around the section and gets exploded by a wall of white water. Garrett McNamara to sign to just at the last minute. Pull off of that one. Here's a replay of uh, last of Justin Holland. Nice top turn right there, gliding down with the falling lip. And then a big bottom turn, tucks low. You see a very low stance from Justin. And here's the last turn, floating with the lip and landing it right in the shoulder section of that wave. Nice job by Justin Holland. All right, I would like to give a shout out to a good friend of ours from Chicago, Ian, with Great Lakes Board Company. Big mahalos for tuning in at StandUpWorldTour.com and keeping up with all the action going on here at Sunset Beach Pro. Also, a shout out to Daniel Cardoza, Mike Douglas Wagner, and Matt Marshall. On on the outside, we have Blue, Justin Holland, on yet another good wave. Oh, pulling in and packing it. Justin is not scared of packing a barrel on the inside bowl at sunset. That's for sure. Here we go, 45 seconds. Twenty three seconds. I did that. 
All right, as this heat wind, as this heat winds down, we're gonna see Mikey O'Shaughnessy in red, Brandon Rose in white, Bullet Obra in blue, and three, two, one. So that concludes heat number 16. And in blue, Bullet Obra, and green, Giorgio Gomez. So good luck, boys, in the next heat. Well, some great surfing from Justin Holland and Bo Nixon in that last heat. Just got word that we had a 9.5 scored on Bo Nixon's wave, and Justin Holland actually squeaked in to take the first. Counting down, Counting down in three, two, one. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to pass the mic to Lau Lau and Rocky Cannon. And on the outside, we have Ryder in white. I believe that's Brennan Rose. Oh, excuse me. Out in this, out in the water right now is in red, Aaron Napoleon in white, Guillaume from Tahiti in blue, Ayrton from Italy, and in green, Noah Yap from Maui. Italy. <laughs> All right. Italy. But a Zane Schweitzer going to gear up for a heat coming up a little bit later today. He was able to win his heat in advance and get a berth into round three. All right. Well, we'll before I check off and give the mic to Lau Lau, I would like – to give away a Maui Jim's hat to the first person that could grab the trash blowing on the beach in front of you before it goes oh, into the water. The Anytime trash. you grab see the trash, trash on the beach, you should pick it up oh. or else it goes straight into the ocean and kills a honu. If you want a Maui Jim visor, sir, we got one for you right here. Mahalo, please the take swag. that trash to the, um, op to the trash can. Or put them in and your pocket. we will give you a Maui Jim's visor, courtesy to work, of Maui Jim sunglasses. He had to work harder to come get the visor than the trash. It blew right to him. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, big makula. Uh, oh, big mahalos for all of your kakua, keeping our beach clean here at sunset. All right. And make sure you don't throw the plastic on the beach <laughs> from that hat. And aloha. All right, Brother Zane going to gear up for another heat here at Sunset Beach. No, that's all you, brother. Welcoming Lau Lau to the announcer's booth, Jason Lau. Hey, now. Very accomplished uh, surfer and cinematographer. And anybody can tell me what trash can is in... Olelo Hawaii, I got a DVD for you. Trash can. Hey, you guys got to bring back your rash guards. Oh, right here. She knows. Does it rhyme with Kini Maka? Kini o Opala. Opala Kini? Yeah. Be careful with this now. Okay, catch him, I don't want to get good. sued for passing you this. DVD of Ikaika Kalama. We're going to see Contestant. Ikaika Kalama coming up later in the event. And uh, right now we are settling into heat number five of round two. Aaron Napoleon in red. Guillaume Berliadu in white. Ayrton Cozzolino in blue. And Noah Yap is in the green. Check in for your heat. Mikey O'Shaughnessy, Brennan Rose, Bullet Obra, and Giorgio Gomez. Report. And shout out to this. Japanese would call a oh, Japanese buffet is like okazu and I just brought one right now and there was some okazu on the beach too bro. 
<laughs> and you kamikazes over there, be careful in the shore break. Do not copy these people if you're not aware of the ocean conditions today, please. Yep, experts only today. And uh, we invite you to check out Turtle Bay Resort for safe swimming. Over there at the cool Kuili Makove, right there on the east side of Turtle Bay Resort, just five minutes down the road from here at Sunset Beach. So that last heat advancing in first place was Justin Holland. Second place was Bo Nixon. Third place was Fen Peltonen. And finishing in fourth was Garrett McNamara. But a great job by all of our surfers here today. Very, very challenging conditions here at Sunset Beach. As you see, Justin and Garrett making their way back up the sand. Mahalo to the city and county lifeguards. Jesse King on screen right there on the lifeguard ATV. Mahalo keeping our beaches and ocean safe all year round doing the daily duties of ocean safety. And your old duties, by the way. Twenty minutes on the clock here. Standupworldtour.com. Tell your family and friends. Check you out online live here at Sunset Beach, Hawaii, the mecca of stand-up paddling today. We got a little bit of a break in the action. We're going to uh, show us guys up in the booth right here. See some uh, of the spectators on the beach and paddlers walking by with their equipment. That is the scene here, live at sunset. And right now we are live in the booth with myself, Rocky Cannon. This is Jace Lau. We're fueling up on Amp Energy and and some Uwala sweet some potato. Some Uwala sweet potato. <laughs> and you see our lovely banner behind us displaying all of our wonderful sponsors. This is day number two of the Sunset Beach Pro Stand Up World Tour of our men's event. We had a historical day number one at Turtle Bay Resort kicking off our Stand Up Women's Turtle Bay Women's Pro. And uh, the women now are officially on the Stand Up World Tour. So that is a historical uh, event that happened on day number one and also with our Nakamakai Youth Challenge and now action back out to the outside. Paddlers are vying for position of this wave coming in. We've had some scores come in. Guillermo Berliadu is in first place with a 4.65. Aaron Napoleon in red currently in second with a 3.75 and Ayrton Cozzolino is in third with his first score of a 2.25, we've yet to see from the young Maui surfer in green, Noah Yap. Well, the wind's picking up right now. Kind of blew him off the face on that last wave. It's really challenging out there, standing up, period, out here. Just paddling out is difficult for these professionals. Or anyone. Seventeen minutes remaining in this heat. Seventeen minutes. We see our next heat getting ready. That's Mikey O'Shaughnessy in red. He is our surfer from the Big Island. We've also got uh, an American Brennan Rose in this heat. Another Hawaiian Bullet Obra, and a Floridian in the green, Giorgio Gomez. So this should be an exciting heat uh, on tap for the last heat of round two. These are the surfers that finished third and fourth in round one, the repercharge round. Top two from these heats will go on to round three. And the bottom two, well, the good news is you can go surf somewhere else because I'm sure it's going off everywhere on the North Shore today. With caution, please. A nice shot of uh, some of our spectators on the beach that are enjoying front row seat action here. And Connor Baxter 
Riggs Napoleon and some of the gang enjoying the shore break. A little bit of Grom torture going on right there. Uh-oh. That's one thing about being the youngest competitor. You are subject to some shore break heaving and ankle grabbing. Or a wedgie. <laughs> that too. A sand wedgie. <laughs> Back to my golf terminology. You are the guy. Oh, oh, Aaron yeah. Napoleon. Speaking of Napoleon, Riggs' dad out the back in red. Aaron Napoleon off the bottom. Cuts back, looking for that inside. Stalling. Looking for that inside section. No stranger to Sunset. Yeah, Aaron Napoleon off the inside. Squares off. Another turn. And he makes it all the way through. Aaron Napoleon. Anything with a paddle. Napoleon, second nature. Anything in the Actually, ocean. Actually, first nature. Hello, Mike. Anything in the ocean is uh, what the Napoleon family specializes in. And Aaron getting on the board with wave number two. He only needed a 0-9-1 to take the lead. So I'll say that he'll be in first place after this uh, wave comes through. out the back approaching and we have a taker the winds like like I said a major factor today especially with these high performance stand-up boards it's really light and you almost need weight to get in these ways even on a regular surfboard let alone a stand-up you're almost like a sail out there as Rocky untangles the poke we have here. Raw fish, sweet potato, terry, terry, ahi patties, and whatnot. 14 minutes remaining in this heat. In fourth, no yap. Still didn't get a wave yet. We got Arten Cozzolino in what? Ayrton Cozzolino and Aaron Napoleon in second and Guilherme Bergliadu. How do you do? A little break in the action, a little lull. And Aaron Napoleon, who's into first place with that last ride all the way through. He got a 6.5 on that last score. And couple that with his 3.75, and he's now comfortably in the lead. Jeremy Borgliadu needs a 5.61 to take the lead. And it's Ayrton Cozzolino on the outside looking in in third place. And once again, get a score to come in for Noah Yap from Maui, so still early on in this heat. Actually, we're about halfway through, 12 minutes and 15 seconds in this heat number five of the round two. And some bombs approaching. Holy moly. Hold on. Hold on to your BVDs. <laughs> and your Ocoles. If you have any. cross up swell here. Some come from the north from way back on Boneyard and some, you see the white water straight out, that means head to Kaena Point because here comes the west. Yep, and this one is stacking up on the west bowl and we'll see if our surfers not only can avoid damage and avoid the donuts, but can take advantage of catching one of these monsters and getting a score. And maybe a taker here, is that Noah? 
Aaron, Aaron picks up another one on the inside. That's local knowledge right there. Fading, waiting for that inside. It's reforming kind of nice for him. Coming off the bottom on his backhand. Snaps it off the top. Dragging his paddle. Stalling, waiting. And... Oh, he comes across the inside. He, oh, just gets oh. clipped right there. Aaron Napoleon. Local knowledge. Everyone else got donuts out the back. And speaking of donuts, right where Aaron fell, the second wave right here is going to be even more damaging. He got pushed in quite a bit, so he's just going to have to deal with some white water, but he'll be A-OK -okay to head back out to the channel and get out for another wave, but... He's trying to replace a 3.75 to further extend his lead. We'll see if he is able to do that. We'll get you the score as soon as we are updated here. And watch your iPhones over there. Yep. Yep. Grab the iPhone first and the small children second because the phone won't work after I being touched by salt water. The kids can still work after a splash of the Pacific Ocean. I just said hold on to your BVDs. Just be careful on the inside, uh, on the shoreline, during those big swells, during those big sets. It's going to surge high up the beach. We do have the tide turning around as well. So the high tide is on the way. Couple that with the high surf. And uh, you could be getting some wet towels and, and insurance, car keys. insurance <laughs> on your iPhone. Hopefully you get the good plan. Nine minutes and 40 seconds. 9.40 remaining. Teriyaki Ahi Patties is very special. Oh, we got Limo Poke over here from Joyce and Masas in Kaneohe. Yes, I came around the back way, the back door, because the traffic. You know, like deal with the turtle traffic over there. Yeah. By the way, Turtle Bay is to the right, Lania K is to the left. <laughs> and keep driving past Lani Kill. Speaking of Turtle Bay, that is uh, one of our official sponsors here. And if you're wanting to uh, learn how to stand up paddle or do some surfing, you can come check me out at the Hans Hiedemann Surf School at Turtle Bay Resort. We got safe swimming over there and safe paddling and surfing. Even in these kinds of huge conditions, we are experts of North Shore guiding and we can show you the nice spots for safe ocean activities that's correct and if you're staying in town you can get a surf lesson with me tomorrow in waikiki i'll be at the sheraton faith surf school no you'll be down here again tomorrow what <laughs> oh i thought it was going to work but okay out the back we got white guillarme guillarme borliadu and I wasn't he is one of our tahitian paddlers i believe and he's doing a nice job here, working on his backhand. That wave fading kind of quickly into the deep section. He's going to pump and try to make the most of it, working his board back and forth. Meanwhile, on the outside, we got Green. The young Maui surfer finally gets a wave. Noah Yap and Noah kicking out on a similar wave to Guillaume. So those two surfers kicking out. Last score coming in for Aaron Napoleon, a 7.75. So Aaron is in the lead. Guillaume Borliadu, we just saw him riding in white. He is in second. And Ayrton Cozzolino currently in third place. Ayrton needs a 2-4-1 to go to second. But we're going to wait and update a situation a little bit later because that last wave of Guillaume will up the ante for Ayrton to get into second place. Meanwhile, on the outside, that is Ayrton. On a nice big drop, the surfer from uh, just outside of Senegal and representing Italy. And more big waves out the back, Lau. Check this out way outside. West, west, not always the best here at sunset. You see that straight out? That means it's, it's malasada time. Have some malasadas with sugar all over it. If you know what that is, it's a Portuguese donut. And over here we say donut. Somebody's gonna get a donut. A donut. So just the correct pronunciation for Guillaume 
Bully Do. And some fun times in the shore break for the young Napoleon running up the beach. Please and don't let your kids out there. That's not just any kid in the shore break. He's been on a canoe since he was in diapers, and there's whales out the back. They could swim before he could walk. And just watch yourself once again with the high surges from this big set that just came in. Just a little over five minutes remaining. Five minutes left in the heat. Guillaume. Five minutes, 25 seconds up and riding out the back. This is Green Noah Yap. Gets a back-to-back -back score. You just saw him riding a, a couple of minutes ago. Now getting wave number two. His first score was a 1.6. And carves back and forth nicely on that wave. And hitting the inside section, boosting and coming unstuck. Landing in the ocean. Guillaume, sorry, Noah Yap on that shoulder. Definitely not an air wave here. Don't forget to log on to turtlebaysup.com and enter to win your chance at two free airline tickets to Turtle Bay Resort, a week's stay for free, a week's pass of adventures. You get free adventures all taken care of and also... A free welcome meal, some Turtle Bay swag, and a free stand-up tour from yours truly. And you can enter to win that contest at TurtleBaySup.com. We've already drawn our winners for this year, and they'll be revealed very soon. But uh, we do have a trip to give away for two to come visit us at Turtle Bay Resort here on the North Shore of Oahu. Oh, we got a winner at the Turtle Bay Tent. Allison Nicor from Sydney, Australia. Allison, you just won some Surf of the Bar gear courtesy of Turtle Bay Resort right there in the red hat. Chee hoo! All right. Give her a round of applause. Yay. And if you would like to win some free Surf of the Bar gear courtesy of Turtle Bay Resort, head up to the Turtle Bay Tent and just enter your name for free. Register your name, and we'll be calling winners throughout the day here to win some free Surfer the Bar gear. She won a hat, and I'll oh, give them to the husband. So nice. Here we go, out the back. Aaron Napoleon again on the inside. Picks off another one off the backhand. Coming off the bottom, top turn. Comes to the inside bowl. High line. Working it across the inside. Aaron Napoleon in first place. Looks like he's lengthening, um, adding to his lead. And coming in, it's two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Aaron Napoleon in the lead. Noah Yap moved to third place. And in second is Guillaume. Guillaume. Bourledou. So Guillaume Bolidou able to get up into second place with that last score of a 2.35. Noah Yap is now in third with his last score of a 2.25. Ayrton Cozzolino in fourth place needs a 4.75. So Noah and Ayrton on the brink of elimination with one minute and 45 seconds. This is the repercharge round. So top two go to round three. Bottom two are done for this year's stand-up world tour, Sunset Beach Pro. Up and riding out the back. This is Ayrton. Sorry, this is, I believe, Guillaume Bolidou.
Guillaume in the white jersey, carving nicely on his backhand. Bottom turn through the next section and gaining some speed now. Square off the bottom and right into that nice little end section for Guillaume Bolidou. One minute remaining, as they would say in football. Tick, 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 tick. One minute remaining. Sets out the back. Here we go, up and riding out the back. This is Ayrton Cozzolino. Ayrton is in fourth place, needs a 4.75. This is a crucial way for him with 35 seconds remaining. He's going to have to milk this for all it's worth. We'll see if he can pull off one of his uh, little chop pops that he showed us on yesterday's competition. Oh, and the chop definitely gets him on that one. Cuts his ankles out from under him, and he goes catapulting forward. Counting down, 15 seconds. Out the back, Rock. That's young Noah Yap. Also a very important wave. Needs a 4.75 as well. Counting down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that wave did count for Noah Yap. Nice top turn he had on the inside bowl. This one shaped up nice for him on the inside. And another top turn and almost in the channel. That was a good wave for him. He might make it with that wave. Well, we're standing by for that score coming in as he finishes off in the channel. Noah Yap getting the final wave of the heat in third place. Needs a 4.75 to catch Guillaume Bolidou in second. Aaron Napoleon with the convincing win, but the battle right now is for second. Stand by for the start of heat number six. Please stand by. And congratulations, Aaron Napoleon. Advancing on through.